Hello and welcome back. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Factorio, a rocket per patron. Okay, so I've been messing around with this thing a little bit here. I, uh, I'll admit freely that I'm not an electrical engineer. I, I don't know, like, uh, combinators. Com they're, they're, can't explain that, right? So, I don't know. I've been messing around trying to figure out belt latches and SR latches and hysteresis and all that kind of crap, and I can't figure it out. It just doesn't, it's not making sense. Granted, it's like midnight the night before I'm leaving on an airplane in like four hours, and so I really shouldn't need to figure it out right now, but I'm trying. So, for now, this thing is working-ish. I've got a very simple system here. It's It doesn't have a latch to it. It just says, hey, if you've got less than a thousand of one of these things, then send the resultant signal through the red wire into the crafting combinator. Thank you, by the way, for the comment that mentioned that there is an actual rotation to this thing, which was why I was not working with this machine. Which is sort of silly, if you ask me, but, uh, hey, whatever, we gotta figure it out, so. Um, yeah, it's only sending a signal now, and don't worry, uh, if, if the recipe does change, then it, uh, it does create, like, an active provider chest inside the crafting combinator, actually, is what I found. And robots come and pick up all the junk, so even though this machine did end up with a bunch of stuff in it, it's, uh, it's now crafted a thousand of each of these things, roughly. There's actually a little bit more than that, slightly, but, uh, and then it'll turn off. So, the next thing would then be to just make sure that this thing is part part overall of the, uh, of the system. Um, here, again, we're just wired up directly into this chest. It'll just make sure that eventually, uh, at least the four primary materials are not going to be wasted or, or run out. We're not going to run out of those. Up here, um, it looks to me like we have run out of... Really? What's going on there? We're to have run out of... Sapphirites? How's that possible? That's rather confusing. Trains. Uh, let's just search for Saf the Sapphirite outpost. Let's view the locomotive. All right. Haha, <laughs> yeah, it would appear that I've dis dismantled that base at some point or another. Probably because I had a massive, absolutely ridiculous uh, stockpile of this stuff at one point and decided I don't, I don't really need that anymore, do I? Uh, turns out, yes, yes I do, actually. So... Mm-hmm. I think I may have taken it down. At one point, I was concerned about pollution, but uh, kind of not as concerned about it now as I used to, as, as concerned about it as I used to be. It has also been a number of days since I played this campaign, so I will also admit that uh, my ability to play the game may have been uh, diminished slightly. I, I don't remember how to play as well as I used to. Not that I was ever really playing particularly well, but you know what I'm saying, don't you? I think you do. I think, you, I think you're picking up what I'm throwing down, right? You understand me. We understand each other. So anyway, I disabled while I was tinkering with the, uh, the stuff. I disabled the rockets from being launched, because I didn't want to launch any rockets off camera. I felt like that would be not good, so... Uh, I guess we could just put, like, one of these things, like, here, right? Um... And then just remove these ones. Do we even need to put beacons in these other things? I mean, sorry, modules in these other ones? Possibly. I mean... Energy-wise, uh, well, raw resources-wise, it's probably best to, to have some. Something else in here. I think I'm just gonna not worry about it. Too much work. Too many things to worry about, right? Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and turn la rocket launches back on again. Go ahead and auto launch for me, if you don't mind. Uh, we did figure out exactly why the, the rockets, or rather the, uh, you know, the whole ion cannon thing wasn't showing up, and that's because, uh, derp, derp, I haven't researched it yet. Uh, yeah. For some reason, in the past, you used to be able to open up the orbital ion cannon interface uh, prior to having done the research, but the auto-targeting station requires research, and we don't currently have the ability to make laser turret. We need laser turret damage 6 before it'll do its job. So, um, also, in the comments on a previous video, we were talked... People were talking about how I need to make the methane from the pink stuff. Wherever the pink stuff is, I'm not really sure. Right now, I'm trying to figure out why there's no green science pack. 
There are no green signs back because there are no inserters. There are no inserters because... There are only 20 in there, it's not allowed. And we're not making any more because... We have no gears, we have no gears because... I've messed it all up. Nice. Is anyone really surprised? I know, I'm not surprised. Mistakes like this, they happen, right? Still within beacon range? Oh my god, there's not a beacon here! What kind of a atrocity is this? It's unacceptable. Obviously, it has to have a beacon. Okay, so we'll do the... those guys. We'll do the... that guy. Get everything running nice again. Looks like I've changed my upgrade builder to something else. Yeah, we were using the ceramic at one point. Okay, let's just go back to... belt upgrades for now then. Not that this is really at all necessary to be this fast, but... Evidently, if you use shift queued robots, then it will actually allow you to, uh... to maintain ro uh, inserter rotation and stuff. What has happened here? Ah! Even while slow, I can't stand properly. Every now and then, something seems to be messing up here, and this thing is... still... Sending them down the wrong path or something. I, I don't quite understand it. That doesn't make sense to me. Whatever. Alright, so yeah, we're gonna go work on getting some robots up in the air. We're gonna get the, uh... Oh, looks like the research completed. Auto-targeting still requires the orbital ion cannon to be researched, which is, uh... uh gonna be very, very expensive. We need to make low-density structure like crazy, large solar panel Mark threes. Uh, fortunately, we do already craft those. Unfortunately, I don't craft the fast accumulator Mark III, so I craft the high capacity accumulators by default. So, we'll need those, we need tons of radar Mark I's, electronic processing boards, and then laser turret Mark V's, and more rocket fuel. So, uh, let's go. It's this, uh, it's called synthesis. Yeah, residual gas out the wazoo, and this stuff is going to be what we turn into methane, I believe. And then we need to do lots of salination. We're going to do the synthesis gas, catalytic methanation, methane gas, ethane gas, butane gas. Is that the one that we want? Or do we want to just go straight? I think it's straight to methanol. Taking carbon dioxide, synthesis gas, and we get methanol. I got I to gotta remember exactly what it was that I was short on because uh, we need it now. We got to make it in, in mass. So, we're trying to make rocket fuel, which requires the hydrazine and the dimethyl blah, 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 blah. And the thing that was constantly being in short supply, I think, was... Not the ammonia. It wasn't the methylamine, either. I think it's this part right here, it's the, the methanol, yes. So, if we make this catalytic synthesis... To methanol, we get methanol. Eight bits of methanol, purified water, and we get an output. Uh, it's got catalysts in it. Oh god, it's the infinite catalyst production. Now, I don't like that. Okay, well. It's okay, it's okay. We'll, we'll figure it out. So this is going to be made in a chemical plant Mark IV. I believe we had set this up at some point, somewhere around here. I don't know if that it's uh, actually uh, an appropriate amount right now. This was the... Just rather sy regular synthesis gas, methanation, which was giving us the methane, which can be converted into methanol. Methane is actually full right now. Because steam cracking of methane gives methanol gas and residual gas. So we're already getting some methane. Sorry, methane and... yeah. Why not just continue to do this in a loop? No? The issue actually does appear to be that there's too much residual gas. Aha. Residual gas. Funny. Very funny. Okay, so all this residual gas. Um, what do we do with this crap? This is where we're converting it into the synthesis gas. And then the... 
I think we do. I think we do need to just take a new set of these, and instead of doing this cyclical thing, we need to just do the regular catalytic synthesis to methanol. Go straight into the methanol. We've got this carbon dioxide from one of the processes. I don't know if it's just this one here that we're getting it from, probably. Yeah. Is that a power fluctuation that I saw? Hmm. That kind of seemed like it there for a second, but that would be crazy. There's no way we would not have enough power, right? All right, so we got the synthesis gas, the carbon dioxide. Ah, oh, crap, it's carbon monoxide. I need carbon dioxide. Gosh, damn it. Carbon dioxide we can get from coal. What on earth can I use the monoxide for? Carbon monoxide from carbon and purified water. Don't want that. I want to use the carbon monoxide, please. I swear. Angel. You and your you and your chemicals, man. Ingredient in. Base mineral oil synthesis gas. It's an ingredient in the synthesis gas, so we are using it, so... Wait, what? It's an ingredient in synthesis gas? Carbon monoxide is an ingredient in synthesis gas. Gas. Synthesis gas. Synthesis gas separation is not what we want. Wait a second, is that, is that what I'm doing here, though? Yes, we are separating synthesis gas. I think I, I think I did this because I needed the hydrogen or something, right? I needed the hydrogen here, which we have. And this is just what, the just random huge-ass amount of carbon monoxide byproduct? That's crazy. I think we should get carbon... You get the hydrogen from somewhere else rather than separating synthesis gas. Or we could make naphtha with it. You know what? I don't know. I don't I don't know what the right thing to do with this stuff is. For now, um More storage would potentially allow us to do something with it, but um This I know for sure I want to do, so we're going to make this happen somehow. Dioxide, carbon dioxide. <laughs> I'm just gonna make some up here. We're gonna grab coal and we're gonna ferry it in and we're gonna make it. I miss the days where I could just play this game endlessly and not have to remember everything that I was trying to work on. Uh, previous episodes, that kind of thing. So that beacon is actually not doing a particularly good job of covering these machines. Oh, uh, let's see. If we could sneak it in between this area somehow, that would be spectacular, but I don't think that's going to happen. Hmm. That's a real shame. I probably should have just kept it a little bit further apart. So, with that in mind, I'm going to pick this up. Shuffle it over a little bit. That doesn't really help unless I give myself more space, does it? Dioxide. Carbon dioxide. 
And we'll have a little bit of room here in between. Hopefully this will continue to be sufficient. Let's see, we're gonna go... Speed. It's one of those. You get your productivity back. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a requester. Okay, so we're just going to directly make the carbon dioxide, which just seems like the simplest possible thing ever. And the metal catalysts. Okay, um... Since this is going to be going directly into, uh... the network... Like, I think we could just probably get away with bottling this up. Right? Did I not recently? Yes, I did recently. Why, yes, yes, you did recently. Good job, recently. The question was, have I recently done something with barreling or uh, adding adding the barreling thing to the hot bar? Fill methanol gas barrel. Yes, that's the one. Okay, and then final requisite we've got to, I think, and I think that this is going to be the simplest method of, of solving these late late game problems, is to just just void the crap out of everything that uh, that we don't need. The salination plant. Now, I believe that that is something that we're going to need to start using because people have talked about it in comments. They said that uh, you need to do lots of salination to get the rocket fuel that you need. So, I would like to make this thing into a tileable, tileable building. We offset by one. Can't quite do it. Why don't we just say that it's going to be spaced every so often, and if you are lining up here, why don't we actually shift you up? No, I don't like that. Well, actually, yeah, mm, no, that could work. But let's not. <laughs> I'm so good at making decisions, yes? For the sake of, uh, Consistency, we'll put it there. And grab this fella. Okay, so each each machine is just gonna get its own one, and then we're gonna make sure that the amount of this purified water that's coming out can get processed. So two purified water every two seconds with a crafting speed of 22.5 um, is going to be 22.5 purified water per second with a bonus of 80% productivity times 1.1 right, times 1.8. That's 40.5 purified water per second. I have no idea how fast these clarifiers can purify the water, so let's just hope that raw speed is going to be enough. I guess we'll just have to visually do it because I don't I don't know what the recipe is. I don't even know that you can actually look the recipe up. You probably could if you if you use the uh, what do you call it? The what's it used for? That might be possible, but I that 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 one scares me a little bit. I just still they can never seem to really figure it out. Finally, um, Ah, crap. See if I want to use these, uh... I can't use productivity on these, can I? That's just not gonna work. I guess we just try speed and... hope that it doesn't, you know, break the speed of the machine. It probably does. These should be active providers to make sure they never get clogged. And all we're trying to do is just make as much methanol here as we can from the synthesis gas. So, so long as there's enough green metal catalysts, we are basically turning all... Coal is practically infinite at this point, um, just in case, maybe we request a little bit extra to make sure that that thing keeps on running all the time, but, um... It looks like the thing that is holding things up is actually the barreling now. Oh, 
That one's going to run a little bit less frequently, I think. And now the issue is that the methanol... Alright, looks like we just launched our third rocket. Um... So methanol gas barrels are not being used much. Uh, let's say that I think we need lots of methanol, so I'm going to just uncap that one, which is probably a bad idea, but we're going to do it anyway. Why is the methanol not being requested? Methanol gas is not, not requested right here. Empty methanol gas barrel. Okay, so... Methanol gas. We're not using all the methylamine. Just trying, sorry, the not methylamine, the dimethylamine is running through this pipe over into this machine. Which is being held up by the usage of the output resultant dimeth dimethylhydrazine. Which is being blocked by... <laughs> Believe it or not, I think it's actually, yes, I think it's a, a, not having enough of these, these steel crates. Let's check the network to see how we're doing on uh, barrels. So, empty barrels. I've got 1,200 in requesters and only 8 available in the actual logistic network. So yes, there's not enough of those. Can't believe that. That is that is shocking. That, that something so basic as that would be a hold up for almost everything else. So we're going to just say barrels here. Make sure this guy's running quite, quite, quite well. Well, the methanol did seem to help. We are at uh, four rockets. That last rocket took, um... Okay, uh, how do you read this properly here? Count three rockets since last reset. Average four rockets an hour. Uh... Average is 14 minutes per rocket. Since I reset it last. Okay, so total is between the last reset versus all reset. Okay. Uh, let's reset the counter now. I want to see, now that we've made that methanol change, what that does. Let me know what your thoughts are. If we should just keep this thing open all the time, or is that uh, something we should just have pop up every time a rocket launches? It does catch my attention every time it happens, so that is that is decent to have happen, I think. But I'm guessing what's going to end up happening here is that the, the rocket fuel production is going to continue to be our burden. It still is the dimethylhydrazine, and I still don't fully quite understand why. You now do not have enough dimethylhydrazine, which was coming from here. And you are now lacking the amount of dimethylamine. Which is because of the methylamine, methylamine not the methanol, so... But the methylamine just comes from methanol and ammonia. Ammonia should not, I think, be really holding things up here. That is what's holding up the whole system, though, is this, this production of ammonia gas. I want to see if I can figure out what it is that uh, people keep referencing in, in terms of the electrolysis. That that is a big part of their rocket crafting uh, experience. Salt water specifically. I think. Could, could just be the water electrolysis for hydrogen and oxygen. Hydrogen, sodium, like... Well, let's see, the salination plant, I believe... 
And you could just take the salt byproduct from other places and... 25x salt. Versus 250... Well, wait, what? 25 salt from 100 saline water. That's the opposite of what I want. 10x salt. 100 water. 100 water equals 10 salt. 100 water equals 40 saline water. What a weird machine. It's probably this, though. It's the... I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to do this one. I'm gonna try to just do... I just need hydrogen and nitrogen and red metal, red metal catalyst. That's fine. We can, figure, we can figure that one out. It's not too complicated, right? Hydrogen and nitrogen. White and blue. We're gonna do ammonia synthesis. It's gonna work. So this is where the ammonia is normally going in. This machine right here. Right there. You know what it might be? It might just be something as simple as... This machine has a splitter, but this machine here doesn't. So this one's getting priority. Damn it. That's so silly. Just trying to go up to there. Yeah. I'm still gonna do it though. I'm gonna do a machine here. Uh, it is going to make the ammonia synthesis. I'm gonna try. Try to make this one happen. I At this point, I don't even remember where in the heck the... Uh, Where the nitrogen and hydrogen come from. You're gonna request out, you're gonna so you're gonna go from a requester, you're gonna go like this. Requester, put a fighter. Got our input side, there's the the catalysts. I'm not gonna use productivity on these, even though it's tempting because of the catalyst catalyst exception or whatever it would be. And then do we wanna try to make nitrogen and hydrogen, or do we wanna just Bury it in, because I don't want to... Uh, uh, I feel like you need to, like, practically be a chemist to understand what in the hell you're doing. With all this Angel's Petrochem stuff. Or maybe I'm just dumb. That, that could be it, too. You know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. It seems, seems complicated to me sometimes. Nitrogen. Compressed air gets us the nitrogen and the oxygen. We could just void it. Just do that. Nitrogen dioxide gas, we don't want that. I think we just do air separation. The compressed air, it's just the nitrogen. Just void out the oxygen. Whatever. I think that seems to me like the, the simplest approach right now is just void the crap out of anything we don't want because it's too much work otherwise. We're gonna do that. We're gonna run you like over to here. We're gonna grab another one of these chemical plants and it's gonna make the uh, compressed air purification. It's gonna make this, um, right here. Air separation, nitrogen gas, oxygen gas. And that is not the one that I want. Want this one? Not a... F it is a flare stack. Um, I think I may have actually put flare stacks. If I did not, I should, because we're gonna use a lot of them. Flare stack, we have not on the bar. That's gonna go right there now. Nope, no, 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 no. You're gonna stay right there. There, for now. Yes, we're going to flare stack the hell out of this thing. If I recall correctly, compressed air has its own special machine. It's a funky looking one right there, the air filter. Productivity or speed? Probably speed. Give us more of what we need. If you make a pure nitrogen, that's that's gotta be enough nitrogen to keep that guy running, right? The hydrogen. That's probably where the saline electrolysis comes from. That's probably, if I had to guess, one of the easiest ways to get lots of hydrogen. On the other hand, why not just do, like, dirt water electrolysis? I mean, slag can be turned into all kinds of other stuff. That seems like a decent byproduct. Is 
So I'm hoping to get hydrogen right now. That's all. Okay, hydrogen as a product. Synthesis gas separation. That's probably why I was getting hydrogen in that point. Uh, but then we end up with carbon monoxide, which is, as far as I can tell, practically useless. Um, saline water electrolysis gets us 6 bits. You get us 4 bits, you get us 6 bits. But that's got a crafting speed of 2, crafting speed of 2, same machines. That's not, I mean, it's got the word hydrogen in it, but it's not actually getting us any hydrogen. So it's really, it is, it just looks like it's either saline water electrolysis or dirt water electrolysis or water electrolysis. So either way, we're taking purified water. Or we're salinating some water. To get the hydrogen that we need. Hmm. Okay. So how about if these guys are just purifying, sorry, clarifying purified water? We can potentially skip this step and maybe maybe use the stuff. I'm not sure yet. See if we can figure it out. Either way, it's not done that machine. Okay. Well, I appreciate you taking the time to uh, to bear with me while I, you know, try to figure this crap out again for the 17,000th time because it's complicated. It's, uh, it's probably not done in this machine, is it? It's done in a uh, electrolyzer. Yes. All right, cool. I'm going to take a break here. Next episode, we'll hopefully continue on this process and get some serious hydrogen production going so that we can make the next hydrogen bomb, which is somehow related to, uh, you know, fission or something. It's the sun, hydrogen, right? Okay, cool. See you again in the next episode. As always, thank you for watching. See you in a bit.